Hello and welcome to day 55 of the Mindfulness Challenge. Uh, today is is a day full of energy. Um, uh, yesterday you would have seen that, you know, I was showing you my crutches and, and my leg and my knee and all that sort of stuff. But, you know, it, it's interesting, isn't it? Some people say, you know, I hope you, and, and I get it, healing and help and all the rest of it. But it's, it's it, the ability to be able to motivate myself when I become, become unmotivated is key to staying motivated, key to making progress, key to developing, key to, you know, all of the things that we, we want to do in our lives. And sometimes when we become unmotivated, we need to we need to think about what's underpinning some of that lack of emotion. And again, get it to a point where you can just look at it and be aware of it and and just let it go. And, and, and just, just moving away from some of those negative thoughts that conjure up some of this um, lack of motivation and also we tend to you know we tend to really procrastinate too much and what I mean by that is is you know we we tend to think too much and, and really put too much into it when when some of the things we can just be do and just go with it and I think you know that's really really important for us going forward is understanding how we can um, motivate ourselves when we're not motivated and today you know when I woke up and I thought oh you know, what am I going to do today? Then I forget I got a dodgy knee and then I get out of bed and it's like, my knee is hurting and all of that. Stuff. But I got lots to do. You know, I, I spend most of my day talking, writing, doing my reviews, doing emails, talking to people on Facebook, putting together content um, because I know at the moment it's really important that I do it. So I have to motivate myself because of the the, the responsibility that I feel within myself to be able to do the things that we're currently doing and and when you see the responses of people who leave their comments and emails and and facebook etc you know it makes it all worthwhile so so i have to push through some of that lack of motivation or frustrations and and you know the only thing that's really keeping me down at the moment is is the pain but you know we just have to keep going and i think that's that's important so today we're going to work on a as quite a, 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 a shortest shortest shortish meditation and it's going to be about motivation motivating yourself when sometimes you lack motivation so day 55 if you want to get yourself comfortable we're going to go into a meditation bring up a picture and close your eyes now what i want you to do now is just to again as we always do it's about getting into this posture of allowing our bodies to understand now that we're going to go into some form of meditation okay and i want you to just you know, just sit here and allow your spine to lift and your shoulders to soften. Just breathing in and breathing out. And today we're going to practice remembering motivation. So taking a full, breath, a full breath in and a long and slow breath out. And allow the mind to rest on that breath, just breathing in and breathing out. I want you to call to your mind, bring to your awareness something where you might be feeling a lack of motivation. Call to mind something that you might be feeling a lack of motivation. Perhaps it's to do with um, a task at work or if you're working from home a task you're doing at home or or a project that you've been putting off just bring that to mind maybe it's repairing a relationship issue with a friend or a family member and as you envision this issue listen to these questions lightly and just see what comes up in the awareness there's no need to figure anything out. If nothing comes to mind, just continue to focus on the breath and notice what thoughts arise. And just let them pass through your mind as if they're carried on a gentle breeze. Ask yourself, when it comes to the issue, what is my greatest aspiration? Bring in 
that thought to mind, the task you've been putting off, the repairing of a relationship. Envision that issue and ask yourself, when it comes to this issue, what is my greatest aspiration? And just hold it there, don't get too attached to it and see what arises and ask yourself, what about this issue? is most important to me. What about this issue is most important to me? What is getting in my way of addressing this issue? What is getting in the way of me addressing this issue? And how do you want to show up in relation to this issue? How do you want to be in relation to this issue? And how, what relationship in this issue? And just notice when you feel and how you feel when you consider these questions. Are there specific sensations in your body? And again, there's nothing to figure out here. Just notice what comes up for you as you ask these questions. And if this issue was in progress or completed, what would that mean to you? And if this issue was in progress or was completed, what would that feel like? And see if you can really feel that feeling, allowing yourself to fully absorb it. And as you experience these feelings of accomplishment, consider how you can access this place again the next time you face this issue. How can you use these feelings as a source of focus? Can these feelings serve as a motivation for you to engage? And finally, ask yourself, what is my intention going forward? And as you take a deep breath in, I just want you to understand any feelings you have in your body that arise when you think about your lack of motivation. What demotivates you? And just see the things arising. And conversely, just bring to mind what motivates you? What makes you feel motivated? What gives you that purpose? And just treat both sensations, both feelings exactly the same. As you take a deep breath in, I just want you to say to yourself, today, I'm gonna to get motivated. Today, I'm gonna to make the changes that I've been putting off for a while. Today, I'm gonna to repair the relationships that have been broken. Today, I'm gonna to take the first step on another step within my journey. Today is my day where I become motivated to make the decisions and take the actions that I need, I know I need to do to take my life forward. I understand on days the lack of motivation, but today I move forward with my eyes wide open, with my heart wide open and with my motivation being at its highest. Take another deep breath in. 
and say to yourself, I am going to be motivated to achieve one thing today. Bring it to mind. What are you going to motivate yourself to achieve today? Take another deep breath. Hold that thought and deliver it. And slowly open your eyes, wiggle your fingers and come back into the room. Motivation is a funny thing, isn't it? Because we think about how we become demotivated, but we very rarely think about what motivates us. And we need to become motivated, and especially in times like this. You know, it's easy to become demotivated. It's easy to get into that rut. It's easy to stop doing the things that we know we should be doing to allow ourselves to progress and move forward, both spiritually, physically, body, mind, and soul. So today is all about motivation. Put your hand on your chest and say, good morning, Julian, I love you. Good morning, Julian, I love you. But just stay motivated for me today. And just achieve one thing. And when you achieve that one thing, give yourself a pat on the back. Say, well done. And stay motivated. Day 55 or 6 tomorrow, I don't know where I am. But have a lovely day wherever you are in the world. Thank you for watching. If you can share, uh, like and, and just spread the love of this mindfulness challenge. And um, have a lovely day. God bless. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Be love and give love. Take care.